if you'd like to take this model and turn it in to this model, you come to the right place. You can take the generic inexpensive model kit and by just making a few improvements come out with something you'll be very proud of. Or you can take this model and completely change it into something like this. So if you're interested in doing something like that, stay tuned because you've come to the right place. Welcome back and this is segment four on my building this uh, fishing boat or shrimping boat. I pretty much have it complete. There's some things I want to highlight before I actually get into the final building that I did. So let me uh, get to that in just a minute. I also want to highlight another craft that I've been making and have actually finished it. This will be the base it will go on. I've been making these little ships partially for my ability to learn how to build model ships and then what to do with them once I have them built. This one is a little bit modeled after the Black Pearl and as many of you may know I made a large scale Black Pearl and this one I named the Tooth Fairy and spelled fairy as in a boat, F-E-R-R-Y. I don't know if you can see but the pirate flag is a, a little pirate tooth and then I have a little happy tooth on a secondary flag. And that's the, uh, the theme of this particular ship. And I've had a, a dentist for several years and I decided that'd be cute for his office so I'm gonna gift it to my dentist. Below my workbench I have this drawer and this is a collection of a variety of things. Old electrical cords that I strip out and then take the small pieces of copper or full copper wire and I use bits of copper in different construction parts on the ship. This is a little box of extras that I keep in here and it's just a hodgepodge of different things that I've tried or am trying for that uh, ship, the Tooth Fairy. I have some shark's teeth that I put in the cargo hold and different things like that. The things on the new ship, this is pull cord for a ceiling fan that I purchased through Amazon. Very inexpensive for a very large section of that. And I use it for a couple of things. On the fishing boat, it's inside the nets as either floats or weights. I haven't decided, but you know, it looks good inside it. You'll see it later in the ship build. The other item that's coming very handy that I purchased through Amazon is chain. And again, a huge segment. They have different colors. I picked this antique brass looking and I use that for anchors. So those are the things I wanted to mention. I keep pretty much anything that is left over from ships in the past, little bits and pieces, and you never know where you might use something. So this is my little drawer of those things. You may, may recall in the Black Pearl, I made a skeleton out of actual bones. These are bones and I was trying to make a skull and crossbones and may still use this for something. And these are chicken bones, so it's actual bone. So here's Carolina Girl 2 mounted on a piece of driftwood that I stained and then I've also coated it in the tongue oil. And aside from putting some cargo back here in the back, she's ready to go. So now that I've given you a summary of the two ships, let me show you the finishing episode on Carolina Girl 2. This is probably the worst planking job I've ever done. I've got a lot of gaps here, so we're going to see how well it looks when you put it together this poorly. And once I get it sanded down to see if it looks any better.
I sanded not to perfection. I don't mind it looking rugged and beat up. So I'm going to uh, see what it looks like when I put some linseed oil in it. It's best to use a lint-free piece of cotton and then rub it into the wood. Not using any stain, just uh, the linseed oil and that's it. As far as the linseed oil, put it on as heavy as you can and let it sit for five or ten minutes and then come back out, wipe it all off, and then wait 24 hours to give it another coat. The linseed oil really brings out the natural beauty of the wood, regardless of what kind of wood you choose to use. To get the best finish, I've just got a little polishing wheel on this rotary tool, and I'll just run it over the ship once the tongue oil has dried. Two coats of the tongue oil on and now I kind of polished it. I've been putting some of the equipment on the ship. As you can see I did end up raising these just a little bit and in dim light you can see the lights reflecting off of that. That's kind of why I did that. On top there was a small spotlight but it was all just made out of wood so I have some crystals that, I don't know if this will show up well on here if I use a flashlight. So at different angles it will sparkle. The steering wheel here did not come with the ship. I had bought a, a bundle of trinkets and that was in that so I did get that from Amazon. I don't think you can see inside, but there's also a little steering wheel inside, and that's the one that came with the ship. And this has some um, some things that are used to pull in the lines and set out the nets. One goes in the front, one goes in the back. And what I made a little bit different on these Instead of putting wood in here, I used copper wire. You probably recall how I said this was a very good model as a starter model, but you can take this and build on it. And that's what I'm in the process of doing. Now this is going to be tricky, and I don't know how well I'll be able to drill straight through here. Probably not very well. My purpose in that is I want to put a peg through there and strengthen all that. So I either use wood or copper. I was able to get that small piece of copper through after I pre-drilled the hole. Now I'm going to snap it off flush. Pretty much. Hoping that'll give me a little extra strength in that area. Add a touch of glue. Another area that I've been working on is the propeller. Got it in place. I use copper wire here also and I just need to snip off the end without damaging the propeller. Bringing you up to date, you can see I've added some of the equipment. Then some things that I am putting on myself 
this will look kind of like a pulley system for this rope to go through. What I'm trying to duplicate is a shrimping boat that I've seen in the Carolinas and these will mount and be hinged at the base like so and then these will also hold the netting and theoretically you would lower it to put the nets in the water but I will make it permanently up in this type of a position. Those of you that have been following my build obviously I have it complete. I'm going to point out some things so you know and maybe it'll give you some ideas for what you might do in the future. I'm going to start at the bow and this is a piece that was left over from the Black Pearl. It just has a couple of grooves there. You could make one of these very simply yourself. The kit showed a stem coming out of this hole and the ropes went from there but I just like this look better. I made some little tie-off supports and put some pretty heavy duty rope around that. I already said that I used copper air inlets for the motors. This was a steering wheel that I bought a group of it, its jewelry, um, nautical jewelry, and that worked out real well there. I've also put green crystals on the starboard side and red on the port side. I've done the same thing with crystals on top of the booms and also this mast. Ships usually have a rub strip for when you pull into a dock and they don't normally necessarily have the brass uh, nails or pins but I like the look of that so I did add some dimension to the planking by adding that the tires are actually O-rings. My inspiration for this ship is an actual shrimping boat named Carolina Girl. And it gave me the idea of where to put different masts and the ring and the lines. To give it somewhat of a look after that ship. So what I did is I named this Carolina Girl 2 or the second, whatever you would like to refer to it as. I did notice on the actual ship there were chains used for different supports and I utilized chains in this model also. I also noticed that it was equipped with a satellite dish on the roof it looked like so I made one of those and that's just by carving out a, a wooden dowel and made it dish shaped on the top in the back. I put some netting and then just put some different odds and ends pieces like where sailors would throw their extra stuff. You might notice there is a fence on top of the uh, cruise area. That's material to repair screens and I think that worked out pretty well. Looks really good. But for now, I just wanted to show what you can do with one of these inexpensive kits. And if you just use your imagination, buy a few extra supplies, you can come out with something fairly special. So that's it on the Carolina Girl 2. And as always, thanks for watching.